Hey everybody, this is Flick King Gamer. Time to review Party of One. Let's begin. So this episode begins in a nice, beautiful day in Ponyville, where Twilight is greeted by Pinky. Okay, did Pinky actually go to every single one of the house and continue to do the same thing? And how did she admit? Yeah, I should stop punching. After all, it is Pinky. Next time I think I'll just pass out written invitations. Yeah. Yeah, you might as well do that, because I guess probably going to and singing the song and going all your friends' houses at once gets tiring. So, and of course, after fast-forwarding to the theme, we cut the layer that day where they're celebrating Gummy's party. Well, anyways, everybody's having a good time nonetheless. Wait, there's a surprise in the apple? Well, it turns out there is a surprise, but Rainbow Dash gets gummy and Applejack... How the hell does that work? And then we get this weird bit. It's Gummy's favorite! Fruit punch mixed with alligator skin? Okay. Ooh. Ooh. My ah, recurring team from Cutie. A blast. You always do the best party, Pinkie Pie. They're always the best party because my And then Pinky gets out of control by knocking Twilight and Fluttershy into the wall. Because it's basically like... <laughs> so then later that night, everybody decides to leave. It's been lovely. Leave for the night. I think I'm gonna pass. Great party, though. We should do this again soon. And then Pinky gets an idea. <gasps> we should do this again soon! So we cut to the next morning... So we cut to the next morning with Twilight waking up and a knock at the door, and guess who it is? to Gummy's after birthday party this afternoon at 3 o'clock. Oh, our best express are late and there's going to be dancing and games and cake and ice cream and punch. This afternoon? As in this afternoon this afternoon? Yes, indeed. Oh, gosh. I wish I could make it, but I've gotten a bit behind in my studies. Okay, hold on a sec. So, in after birthday party... Who the hell would do that nowadays? I mean, there's no way you can get away with that. And speaking of which, Twilight decides to make make up an excuse to try to not to go, and she pulls out the book. I understand. Your studies come first. What brings you around these parts? So then, so then Pinky stops by Applejack, and we pretty much get sort of the same thing. As in this afternoon, this afternoon? That's funny. That's just what Twilight said. 
And then Applejack decides to make up a lie, too. And then we get... Uh, anything else I can do for you, uh, beautiful one? Spike, you do realize I'm still pissed off with you after Owl's Well that ends well. I hope you realize that. <laughs> so as Rarity eats shoes, the little bastard, her piggy shows up to deliver an invitation. Very modern. What's the occasion? Gummy's after party parties this afternoon. Seriously, I'm wondering who can get away with an after birthday party. I mean, who the hell would do that? I'm delivering the invitation. The party is this afternoon? As in, this afternoon, this afternoon. It's so strange. Every pony keeps saying that. Oh, do they? I know it's short notice, but we had such a great time at his birthday party. I thought we could have even more fun at his after birthday party. Um, really? Excuse me. But seriously, why would you do that? I mean, I understand it's Pinky, and I know she wants to have more fun, but really? I mean, I know it's Pinky, but doesn't she know that birthdays only come out once a year? I'm sure that we would, but I'm going to have to decline. I have to wash my hair. Don't be silly. Yeah, Rarity decides to do the funniest way possible to make an excuse, and... So then she goes to Fluttershy and Rainbow Dash, and they have to house it. It's a, a big house. Uh, look at the time. We'd really better get going. One comedy routine later, Pinky starts to suspect something after one comedy routine later. Something strange is definitely going on around here, Gummy. Sure, Bingo Dash and Fluttershy had to house it for that vacation was there, but what are the chances all my other friends would have plans this afternoon, too? Rarity has to wash her hair, Applejack has to pick apples, Twilight is behind on her studies and has to hit the book. The more I think about it, the more those are starting to sound like <gasps> excuses. And, co and just when Tinky sees that, coincidentally, she sees Twilight walking near her sugar cube corner. It's an expression, Pinky. And then when Twilight gets inside, she decides to keep a secret. Yes, of course. I'll be right back. And then Pinky uses a tin can to try to hear what's going on. But we're friends. Why wouldn't Twilight want me to know anything about? She's coming back. There you go. Thanks. And remember, not a word to Pinkie Pie. Hey, what's with the tin can? Oh, God, that's funny. Okay, so as Twilight continues to sneak off, Piggy decides to follow her and decides to put on a disguise. Time to get to the bottom. By simply just putting... whatever the hell that thing is. But she almost gets spotted via a gummy. Oh, I think her cover's been blown. You'll need a new disguise. Oh, I just love this. Anyway, so Twilight stopped by the Carousel Boutique to give Rarity the package. And what is the package exactly? We don't know yet. She didn't see you at the sweet shop, did she? I don't think so. Oh, good. I'd hate for her to ruin everything. Me too. So as Rarity takes... While Rarity has the amazing tail flexibility to keep her and keep the package on her. Piggy falls her in a haystack. And Rarity comes across Fluttershy as she's about to drop off the package. Like, um... Have you seen her? Not since this morning. Me neither. Time to get 
Can you believe she was planning on throwing an after-birthday party today? I'm just glad I was able to come up with an excuse for why I couldn't be there. Me too. This is obviously going to be so much better. Ouch. Well, that sucks, Pinky. So then after Fluttershy immediately flies away, and Rainbow Dash sees her, and then she flies away too. But then and Rainbow Dash is caught by Pinky through comedic rage. It's pretty much like in Griffin the brush off, but Pinky is more enraged this time. Dude, how fast is this chick? I mean, Rainbow Dash is, is fast, but how the hell does Pinky keep up with her? Then they head over to Sweet Apple Lickers, where Pinky is now going insane. No I know you're in there! Oh, uh, hey, partner. Mind if I take a look inside the barn? No, uh, I mean, yes, I mean, you can't come in here. Rainbow Dash just went in there. Oh, well, she was just bringing in some supplies. Yep, supplies for the renovation, fixing up the whole thing, top to bottom. Um, yeah, way to continue to make the lies, Miss Element of Honesty. Uh, lots of construction going on in there right now. Yeah, way to keep up the lies, Miss Element of Honesty. Okie dokie, <sighs> So they're able to keep up with everything. <sighs> And then this serves, and of course this finally pisses off Pinky it's to a boil. It's all secrets and lies with those ponies. They're up to something dummy, something you don't want me to know about. Well, I'm gonna know about it. I'm gonna know about it big time. And I know just who's gonna tell me all about it. Tell me all about it big time! So then she decides to interrogate Spike, but it doesn't go over so well. Oh, you got it. Okay. Uh, beautiful weather we're having, eh? I love sunny spring day, don't you? The birds chirping, the flowers blooming. Hey, overall, you suck. No, no, no. Talk about our friends. Oh. Oh, okay. And one of my just come. Want you to confess. And what a matches comedy routine later, this finally completely pisses off Pinky as much as I. No, no, no! Never make that face again. And now, ladies and gentlemen, your nightmares for this week. Your friends are all lying to you and avoiding you because they don't like your parties and they don't want to be your friends anymore. So then Spike confesses that and then her hair combusts. And then she gets depressed. They don't like my parties and they don't want to be my friends anymore. So. So then after she finds out, she then goes in another party in a darker form, and then she gets a little cuckoo in the head. More punch? Oh, of course you can have some more punch, Mr. Turner. What the hell? This is one great party! You really outdone yourself! Why, thank you, Rocky. Get it? It's like Rocky, except he, it would have been, been funniest if Andrea Lippman and actually a Stallone impression. I'm having a delightful time as well! I'm so glad Sir Lancelot. What the hell? So, yes! Pinky is officially gone cuckoo in the head! A lot more than usual. I'm just glad none of them ponies showed up. 
I have officially shit myself. It's official, people. Welcome to the mindfuck. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's official. Pinky has officially just entered the Welcome to mind the fuck. fuck. Okay, so after we just entered ourselves the mindfuck craze tunnel from hell, Rainbow Dash decides to swap by Creepy Town to try to get Pinky's attention. Say hello. You know how it goes. I don't know how it goes, though, right? Yeah. So, why don't you come with me over to Sweet Apple Acres? No, thanks. I'm spending time with my real friend. Isn't that right, Madame the Flower? Wait, that is correct, Madame. I have officially shit myself. Uh, Pinkie Pie? Another slice of cake for Wendell Lot? Oh, I'd love one. Alright. What do you say we get on out of Creepy Town and head over to Applejack? He's not going anywhere. No, I'd rather take I'd rather take Rainbow Dash's advice. Let's head over to Applejack's and get out of the Creepy Town from hell. I most certainly am not. I'm having a wonderful time right here. Yeah, by basically intimidating voices and acting like mean-spirited Pigamina. You should really just come with me. You heard the lady. She ain't going nowhere, chump. Who you calling a chump, chump? <laughs> kind of hilarious that Rainbow Dash is talking to rocks. That's it. Party's over. Come on, Pinkie Pie. So after resistance... So after some resistance, Rainbow Dash was able to pull Pinky all the way over the Sweet Apple Acres mm -hmm. for a little surprise. Uh. But then Pinky gets. I really thought she'd be more excited. And then this pushes Pinky to her limits. Excited? Excited? Going. We've been planning this party for such a long time, we had to make excuses for why we couldn't attend Gummy's party so that we could get everything ready for yours. If this is a farewell party, why does the cake I picked up from Sugar Cube Corner say, Happy Birthday Pinkie Pie? Uh, I think I know where this is going. This is totally unlike me. I actually always remember my birthday. It's just a saying that a lot of people do. Fucking haters. I'm having a great time with my friends, 
but also was given the opportunity to learn a valuable lesson about friendship. Always expect the best from your friends, and never assume the worst. Rest assured that a good friend always has your best interests at heart. Your faithful student, Twilight Sparkle. You girls wouldn't mind if we celebrated Gummy's after birthday party too, would you? His party was cut short, and he's pretty upset about it. Uh -huh. Well, then again, I can't really... I see that because I don't understand how you're able to understand his gibberish. But I digress. So the episode ends, ends with Gummy trying to swallow a balloon, and that's the end. So that was Party for One, and yeah, it's a good episode. I mean, for one thing, it's definitely a redeeming team play from Owl's Well and Ends Well. The characters were all really well portrayed, and we actually see a different side of Pinky that's actually not, not normal to her, like she thinks that her friends are turning on her. And I find that the comedy, of course, is really funny. The animation's still spectacular as ever, and I don't really see any faults with this episode. I mean, it does tend to get a little creepy at points, and it does get a little bizarre, but other than that, I like the episode. I mean... I would give it an A+, plus, but as I said, it tends to get a little creepy sometimes, and, and and things get a little out of control a little bit. But it still gets an A. I mean, it's still a strong episode. So, yeah, I'm giving... So, yeah. So, as I said, Party for One gets an A. Okay. I am Flick Can Gamer, and I will see you in the final episode of the first season. Best night ever. We are nearing the end, people. See you then.